Welcome to Last Man Standing, my friends. There is a hider. A hider is basically somebody who spawns in and hides to try and survive for as long as possible to snipe some points towards their room pouch. Now, I'm not too sure where this champion is, but I don't think he's to the north. If he's pretty clever, I reckon he's just going to be the outskirts of the rocky crops. If I cross this and the fog comes in, I'm going to lose the game, which would be really annoying. But let's just go check if he's hiding behind this tree over here. Ooh, loot crate. I'm going to go get the loot crate instead, actually. Is it in there? Hmm. Yeah, I don't really know where these guys... There's two obviously fighting in there. The other guy's not up the stairs, so I don't really know where he is. I'm gonna go get the loot crate, because it's not here. And maybe we run into him. I need to be a little careful that the fog doesn't just come in right now, though, and just take me out of the game. If I can see a white dot, though, all I have to do is drop one barrage on the guy, and I'll be good to go, so we'll have to see how it goes. I don't really know if I want to use Kodai or Staff of the Dead for the spec bar here, but... All right, I'm bored. If this guy turns up, I'll just have to rinse him. But Lil D-Gen, let's hope this guy's not that good at the game. He's got Max Mage. <gasps> good luck, my friend. Hopefully, he's not insane. But we have a lot of switches, so we'll see if the damage can be uh, output on this dude. Right, let's just see his switches, first of all. <laughs> good fight, my bro. Didn't even wait a fury on me there, bro. Didn't even wait a fury. No, my shock. Oh, it despawned. Give me the rapier, shark. Right, there's a hider. Two survivors left. He's gonna die to fog. We get ourselves the victory, ladies and gentlemen. <gasps> oh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Brother Mandel video. Today will be probably a combination of last man standing, I guess. I don't really know what else I'm working on in the background. Every time my brain turns to mush, I do a bit of AFK sharks uh, to try and get the big shark and whatnot. We currently stand at a total wins of 209. I think I finished the last video on 200. I just recorded some clips and whatnot, but yeah, so hopefully you enjoy. Starting off today's episode with a birdhouse run, do we get a goddess? Yep. So I can't do last man standing all day because my brain turns to mush. Tribriding requires quite a lot of attention. So in the downtime, I'm basically just working on the big shark, the big bass, and the big swordfish because they're just pure AFK and it allows me just to chill out and just watch live streams. And then the next day, I basically get LMS for as long as I possibly can. Mr. Lederhosen, my friend, obviously gives me the turkey thing that's the miles away and I had to run across the map. But is that the completion of my Lederhosen? Um... I knew I was going to get a piece there, that's why I've turned the recorder on, but if I go random events, yes, full letter hose is nice, I'll wear this while I fish my sharks, um, I think I mentioned in the last clip I was going for a big shark while I AFK and like, sort some stuff, um, but I'll put that in my player house as soon as I get the chance. Excellent. Ladies and gentlemen, today is a new day. Let's see how many last man standing wins I can get today alone through how long I end up playing for. Starting wins will be... 209. Number one. I'm guessing that's two. Number three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Number nine. Number ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. And twenty-four. Right, I'm gonna call it there. I have been basically peaking all day today it's one in the morning my brain is absolutely fried but 24 wins today it really just show how long this log will actually take to beat though uh to complete all 1000 because obviously today was quite a good day but yeah i'm happy with that right time to afk some sharks ladies and gentlemen today is a new day after my uh, 24 wins yesterday today i'm gonna be playing maybe not as much and not aiming for as many but i'm already in uh, basically second place right now i had like nine second places yesterday as well which kind of sucked um maybe even more than that but uh hopefully we take this win down but today we'll see what happens get on with it leo bro i actually did that really fast i just put them in my uh inventory alphabetical order uh so that whenever i opened one i already knew where it was basically you know like cooking wood cutting farming all that stuff that is all the emotes unlocked though got the zombie walk and the zombie dance now i think we'll only be getting the armor pieces from now on which will be for the collection lock Thank you so much for everything. If you need to join the live stream please consider dropping a follow yada yada join the discord i might get drunk to discord again who knows but uh nope that guy's never playing again Please. Oh, you look, you cabbage, mate. Um, <laughs> if you get the pit dagger, pit's up there. But if you get the pit dagger, 
two spec at the start of a fight, man. It's just the funniest way to kill someone. So the fog's about to come in and kill everybody that's not in the square. These guys are fighting. I can't PJ immediately after, but there's a good chance they're both going to die in a second. Ooh, it was actually pretty close. You see? Look, oh, he's going to reheal to max, man. Oh, man, if I got that prediction right, I'd have been so happy. That was the longest fight I've watched. Oh, 37, 35. See ya. Oh, did you see that XP drop? <laughs> Damn. All blacked out in your house. Wow, look who it is. Super famous in the crowd. Hello, guys. Welcome. He's angry. Another Leo random. Okay, so I got the zombie walk last time, so I think I'm guaranteed to get a piece here. So it didn't really matter, but I'll, I like to record the collection log pop-up, you know, and it gives a little break from... Ooh, two pieces. That's two collection log pop-ups. That's even better. Gandering, gandering, gandering. We still need the mask. Just the mask to go. So the next zombie random with the last one. I've got the camel, got the leather house, and we still need some mime, a load of mimes in here. I honestly, genuinely... As far as I'm aware, I've done a lot of things in the game that don't give you randoms because I'm busy. I have yet, since I began this run, to get a single Quizmaster. I've not had one yet. That stale baguette is one in 256. I've had zero in like 20 days of playtime. Now, obviously, when I start training like things like Slayer and all that, I should come fast. So I will get it eventually. It's no rush, that one. You know, it's, it's RNG. It could take me four years to get it. Good thing is I won't complete the collection like in four years. So it's one of those passive ones where when it comes, it comes. But I wouldn't mind getting one. Deducing from this, it looks like two people double deathed at the start. So thank you very much. To the oh, I didn't even get prior experience, do I? I wonder how that fight went, but GG. <laughs> So what I've seen in this game is most people were running down and fighting by the huts and all this by these rocks. Now, with the final point being Moses' settlement, a lot of people might be relying on this rope to cross over into Moser. So if they do that, I can initiate a fight when they're like literally maybe parallel to this rock here and just hold down a major range fight. And they have to at some point cross over here. Whatever they pray when they do it, they can't change their prayer. So I can just hopefully get a bit of free damage there and maybe take a free wind down, free key and move on. Needs to be a little careful. Anyone who comes to the east might get hit by fog because it'll be blocked at the top, but... There's also a very small chance, I'm going to say very small here, that I just win this game outright. If it's two fights of two and they're both in fog now, then I could just win. But we'll see who comes trotting down here, expecting to cross the rock when the Guardian of the Rock is here, my friend. It'd be better if these ro if these ropes like weren't like static spawns or whatever they would be called, because I could just pick them all up and just stand here and just kill everyone and cross over straight after... Hey, a loot crate just spawned. They're in a fight. There's two people to the east, so they're fine. But I just saw them both running. They're in the fog right now. I went to go get that crate and got a ballista. But here they come. Here they go. I'm just attacking whoever I see. Because I'm going to guess. Maybe because one died. Let me go check if these guys are fighting. Yeah, they're fighting. So one of them died in the fog. So the other guy's now grabbing the key. He got regen to full health. So he's definitely still alive. If he's coming for the rope, then I'm going to kill him on the way. If he's gone round the other way through the fog, then I definitely get on him because he has no food. Yeah! <laughs> Not damn personal, brother. It's just business, my friend. Just business, brother. <laughs> okay, so we're both getting like rinsed here by fog. But uh, as you can see, he's getting hit like tens. He's still alive? Bro, this guy's a machine. I don't think I'm going to win this game, mate. This guy's too good. I don't know how he didn't die there. If I put a big bolt here. Right, I'm going to have to bail into here now. He actually might win this game now. Let me try and get in here. Try and get the fog down to as minimal as possible. Can I get one more freeze in the fog? Perfect. <gasps> he's got me. Oh, no, I'm alive. Close. That was very close. I thought the fog was going to tick, but I was just on the line there. I think this guy's beating me, mate. I think he's better than me. I'm not sure what to go with here. I've got all, all my spec. Oh, <laughs> wow. Fair play, mate. I honestly think I had the complete counter on that guy, and he just almost destroyed me. So, fair play. Good attempt. Is this guy going to... He's going to seed into me. Please. Yeah, no! He would have been the best clip of all last month. Oh, please see it again. Please see it again. Please see it again. I'm begging. Please. Please.
please. Gotta be careful here. Oh, you see, if I if I did that, I might have pathed out west instead there, and then he would have had the um the advantage there if he caught that immediate freeze there. I'm frozen here, so if I can try and bait it. Oh, I mean, I've got so much damage down that I've won this fight already, basically. But, oh, that would have been such a good moment, bro. Another win. I'm just gonna... Luggies! Come on, brother Mumbo. This is win 249, so I'm one away from being a quarter of the way done. Can we get the PvP weapon trilogy? Do we pull the Vesta Longsword? Oh, we get double Zoriel Staff, mate. See, I've rolled it there. You know, and yet triple PvP weapon, he's just over for the enemy. We get a second attempt here. Do we get the PvP weapon trilogy? I'm gonna need it because my opponent I'm about to fight is very, very good. We get an armadillo crossbow. We drop it on the ground. This guy decided to chain up. Oh, we'll just quickly adjust him on the dome, and he's out the brother moon build game. My opponent, I I fought him before. I think I beat him, but he's very good. So if I lose, I'll be upset. I have three Zorial staffs. I don't need this many. The Guthen Helm, though, it's just a sign of... Oh, the Guthen Helm is always scary. So I've been a bit sneaky here. Again, because I've got to win 1,000 games, I've got to kill a lot of players, and I've got to play quite smart, because if I ever come second place or third place or 10th place, which happens a ton, the amount of second places I currently have is, like, so many. But here, my mage bonus is really bad, and my gear is really bad. So what I've done is there was two people left in the final area. I've waited for this final chest to spawn, and now hopefully when I go in, there'll be one, two of the corpses from previous people that died, and they may leave some good gear for me to upgrade from there, which means I fancy my chances in the the final fight a bit more perfect i'm gonna godsword amulet of fury two upgrades just like that because i decided not to take the fight because i would have had worse gear now fair enough these guys are going to be absolutely stacked because they're going to have like five kills or something but i just think picking up all this gear right now is going to uh, increase my chances to actually win this a lot more than if i bowled in with what i had before so we should be good who do we want to fight here we'll find out so I've noticed here as well that they both have Staff of the Deads, and I've got an Arim Staff. So what I'm going to do is when the next fight begins, which is me versus the last dude, I'm just going to freeze him and just stand there and burn time until the Staff of the Dead spawns on the ground. Assuming he doesn't take it to block me from getting it, I don't know if they'll notice that because when you're in a fight, you don't notice much around you. But if I can get the Staff of the Dead, it will increase my chances of winning a lot because my Mage bonus actually becomes a threat, you know, because right now with Arm Staff, don't even pray Mage. I'm just going to splash every single time. All right, so he's just killed the opponent. Depending if he spotted that I don't have the Staff of the Dead, it's very unlikely. And you guys all know that when you play LMS, you don't really pick up duplicate items at the very end of the game. In the middle of the game, you should and just hide them so no one can upgrade while they play the game. But I'm going to guess there's a very high chance here that I will be able to pick the Staff of the Dead. Him. I was burning down this clock. Burning it down. He doesn't know what I'm doing either. He just thinks I'm scared. He's being outplayed. No, the mage gear. Alright, let's go. Oh, mate. Dead in two. Please. Please. It would have been the greatest clip. Staff of the dead. It was there. There's a blessed shield as well. I've got one of those actually. So let's see. Again, he has an AGS and I know that. So I just need to try and get that staff of the dead. So let's throw the freeze in now because I will unfreeze in a second. And just grab it. Nice. Okay, so now my mage bonus is a lot better. I've lost a bit of damage in this fight, but it's all good. I think it's worth it for what we can now do for the room. Oh, man, I'm on recording. I paused my recording, bro. I KO'd him with it. So I had the staff. You know, I have the staff of the dead spec bar as well. I just one took my AGS and hit a 70 on him. Oh, it was beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the 250th win. We are one quarter of the way to the last man standing completion. This is a long grind. I'm going to do it over the course of months on end. It's just I'm no life in it right now just to kind of warm up and get a bit better at PKing before I stream this because there's going to be a lot of bands when I lose some fights. So we'll see. Oh, yeah. This, the fight with the three Zorial staffs. I lost. I think I did really well, but his we both had Mori Javelins, and unfortunately his were a little better than mine. So but he's good, he's good, so I'll always admit the defeat.